Hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. Today we are going to install the basin using pressure pipe. This is normally one of the first install jobs I get my learners to do. It involves following measurements from a diagram. Let's do it. So this is my workspace. And here is the hot and cold pipes. So let's, um, let's install it. Let's look at the diagram and see what to do first. Right, let's measure 850 mil from the center of the cold pipe and draw a mark. Remember in plumbing we use millimeters, so 850 millimeters is 85 centimeters. Remember in college, draw thin lines. Once you've done the mark with a spirit level, draw a line, a level line downwards. Right now looking at the diagram, it, it says the basin needs to be 800 millimetres from the floor. Okay, so 800 millimetres is the actual spillover level, not the actual top of the basin. So what we do first is we measure on the line. Level it off. Right. right, so what we do now is we, we line up the centre line of the basin with the centre line we drew. And we line up the spillover level with this line. So the two holes either side. Mark with a pencil. Right, so now let's um, let's screw it to the wall. It's using the a bradle may be needed if the wood is hard. Right, checking the diagram again. The horizontal pipe needs to be a hundred millimeters from the floor. So what we do is using our tape measure. We measure up 100 millimetres. And using a spirit level. Draw a horizontal line that covers more than where the cold tap's gonna go. So that's a line, that's a line we just drew, the 100 mil from the floor. We now mark the centre of the cold pipe. I'm using the spirit level. Draw the line so it touches the horizontal line. So along this line, let's work out the clipping distances. It's got to be 500 mil maximum that way. You can get more in, but it can't, you can't have more clip space in 500 mil apart and 300 mil apart is your maximum. You can have more, so let's work it out so it looks quite aesthetically pleasing. Right, see my crossies? That is where the screws go for the clips. If the wood is hard, you may need to use a bradle. What I did do as well, because they're hot and cold, a 50 mil apart, from the centre line, I measured 25 
Mill Cross in 25. So if the hot and cold would then go upwards, like parallel, with a nice even gap if you were to put in the other pipe. But we're just doing the cold pipe for today. Right, so now let's pipe it up. I always like to put in the longer bits first. Right. Remember your inserts, put your inserts in these other pipes. Remember inserts as about two to three millimetres onto the pipe. It's good practice to have an isolation valve, make sure you use the arrow the right way. Push that in. And we then close the clips. Right, make sure all the fittings are done up. Make sure the drain valve's done up. Make sure the isolation valve here is turned off. Slowly turn on the water supply. Check for leaks. Once it's okay to there, we make sure the um, tap is turned off. Turn the isolation valve vertical, which lets water through, and check for leaks. Turn on the tap, this will let any air out the pipe, then check your pipe work again. Now it's your turn to have a go 